Yo, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to a brand new video. Now in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make some money. So if you have a few hundred bucks and you want to learn, you already know what to do. It's time to sit back, relax, and eat snacks. Let's go. So in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to make money flipping hats. Now if y'all have been following the streetwear trends, you already know that hats are very popular. Fitted hats are the most popular right now, but snapbacks are still as popular. This video right here is mainly for those of you that are interested in flipping hats or creating your own hats. Or if you're artistic, you could go ahead and combine all of these steps and make something super dope and creative and start selling customized hats. The difficulty range for this project that we're working on today is going to maybe be about like a 6 out of 10. The only thing with this side hustle is that it does require a few hundred dollars to start up so let's go ahead and start off with the materials list starting off with our most important material we're going to talk about hats my best recommendation is to check amazon amazon has a bunch of different hats a bunch of different styles some of the hats that we're going to be using today they sell for around six to eight dollars and after the logo gets thrown on it you would sell that for about 25 to 30 dollars which is a decent profit margin so we have two sample hats right here one of them being this camouflage now this camouflage is a chucker cap so it's a five panel cap and i would recommend five panel caps over six panels just because there's no seam in the middle and that is basically where we're gonna put our heat transfer but if you guys want to get a little bit more creative you can go ahead and get the six panel hat right here so all of the six panel hats are gonna have a crease down the middle right here and whenever you're putting the logo on you probably just want to put it on a separate panel right here now when it comes to logos you could put company logos you can make your own logos you can find something online the ideas are endless but for today's video I'm gonna be showing you an example of me just putting my company logo on a hat right here I'm not sure if it's just the environment that I'm in but I have a lot of friends that own their own businesses and I feel like if you're just starting off you don't have a social media following it would be really cool to just hit up your homies that have businesses and ask them hey would you like a custom hat with your business logo on there if so I can make it for 25 bucks something like that very simple and then eventually you could start branching off talking to other people and that's how you get more customers so like I said in today's video we're gonna be making a custom hat we're gonna be using the Cricut heat press kit right here you can find this on Amazon as well as Michaels but I'll have everything linked down below in the description my homie Steve Lee let me borrow his so he shout out to Steve without him this video wouldn't be possible so make sure you guys show him some love on Instagram and we're also going to be using a Cricut maker this Cricut maker does a lot of stuff it cuts vinyl it cuts heat transfers it does a lot of stuff we're also going to be using heat transfer film now I did practice with some cheaper versions on Amazon and they turned out horribly so I would recommend going with the brand Sisser s-i-s-e-r they make some great stuff and you can also find them at Michaels as well we're in the Cricut design space right now and we're pretty much just going to upload any of the images that we need the cricket to cut so this is my company logo right here easy revive this is my sneaker cleaner company i'm gonna make this about one and a half inches and it will go ahead and adjust everything else scale it to size basically the cricket works best for pngs or just simple logos you can't really have like a full image it's not gonna cut around that it just needs a solid design that it could cut around so this design right here for example is perfect because it's just one solid color easy to cut around but you can't just put images in here. So you could grab some PNGs on the internet or you can make your own and then you could get this started. So we're gonna hit make it and we're gonna hit for any material, confirm. And then since this is a heat transfer, it kind of cuts backwards. So we're gonna hit mirror on this left side right here. So it'll look backwards on the computer, but it's going to print properly. So. Then we could go ahead and hit continue. And once everything is connected, make sure you click heat transfer. And now we could go ahead and load our machine. I'm working with glow in the dark transfer today. And when we put this down on our cutting mat right here, we wanna make sure the shiny side is touching the mat. So we're just gonna line it up right here, nice and easy. And this mat is sticky, so it holds this material in and now we could go ahead and put in the machine all right we're at the machine station now so now i'm just going to click this button on the left that will load the sheet once the cricut logo starts blinking like this we could go ahead and click it and it's going to cut our design Now that we have our sheet right here, I'm gonna pull this off. I'm just gonna trim the excess around it. I'll leave a little bit of space, but basically what I'm trying to get at in this video is, I just wanna show you guys how 
easy it is to just start creating things so you can start flipping them. This isn't necessarily like a full tutorial video because I know I could go way more in depth with it, but I just want to show you guys if you invest in a few machines and you get a couple solid products down, you can make a decent amount of money. So that is what I'm showing you guys today. But what I'm doing right now is I'm just removing the negative space around my logo. We're peeling all of this, all of this, just nice and slow. Take it easy. And if you have like a X-Acto knife, it's easier to pick at the letters that have little decals inside so like this R gotta get rid of that and I think that's pretty much it just like that in less than 10 minutes we already have the logo that we're gonna put on our hat now again this could be anything this could be a company logo this could be a logo that you made it could be a lot of stuff and this doesn't have to be put necessarily on this Carhartt right here it could be put on a new era hat if you want to customize your hat to say you know your your name or if you have a homie that has a logo you could put it on their hat, bro. So, so I'm just showing y'all how that works. But once we have this, we could go ahead and start prepping our hat. All right, we're in my bathroom right now because I don't have any other plugs available. The first thing we're gonna do though is we're gonna turn on our Cricut heat press, hat press machine thingy right here. We're just gonna turn it on to let it heat up while we're prepping the hat. So to prep the hat, we're gonna use this bean bag looking thing that comes with the heat press. So this part's pretty easy. All you do is you take your snapback hat. If it's a snapback, you open it up, grab the handle right here, and you just basically put it inside the hat, just like this, all right? Now, when you put it inside, you wanna make sure that the sweatband inside the hat is just flipped up. Wherever you can get that up, some hats, it's gonna be a little bit different, but if you could flip up the sweatband, it helps this round piece just mold a little bit easier so you don't have any crinkles in your hat when you're steaming it. Our sweatband is all popped up right here, making sure that everything is nice and tight inside. And this is what we're working with. So the first thing that I always recommend doing is just make sure you use a lint roller, get rid of any lint that might be on there. And when we use this Cricut machine, it connects to an app on your phone. So for this hat, it's going to be nylon, and then we're just going to hit next. After that, we're going to send the settings to the heat press, and everything is loaded. So we're going to grab our heat press right here, and we're going to hit the play button, and we just have to move it around the area for five seconds, roughly, to preheat. Boom. Okay. So now that everything is preheated, we could go ahead and put our logo wherever it needs to be. And I'll also use some heat resistant tape just so the image doesn't slide around while I am pressing it down. So just a little bit of heat resistant tape right there and we're good to go. So once we have this, we'll hit the play button again. This is going to last for about a minute and you can see it on the screen as well. So we're going to click it right now. And then we'll move this around for one minute. Once you hear the beep, you could go ahead and check on your logo. Everything should remove itself very, very easily. If it's still pulling back a little bit, you could go ahead and heat it a little bit more. But boom, just like that we have our logo on our hat. So this is how the logo turned out. If you're wondering if you could feel it, you could feel the letters, but it doesn't feel like it's gonna pop up or anything. But before I let you guys go, let me show you the cool thing about this heat transfer. All right, check this out. We're gonna hit it with a black light, a little black light action. Boom, easy revive, look at that. This was just an initial test, look at that. Freaking beautiful. So usually whenever you wear a hat, you're outside, so the sun is going to be charging these things. Again, this just gives you an idea of what you can do with heat transfer vinyls. And if you get the Cricut, the Cricut heat press, you can do a lot, man. The only thing I want to stress today is make sure you get high quality heat transfer vinyl. That's going to be from the brand Sisser. That will be linked down below. If you get something cheap, you're going to get something that looks like this. You see this? It kind of looks a little wrinkled up. It doesn't look nice, but the other one, 
you can tell the difference. I know today's video was a quick one and I was kind of running through everything, but I hope some of you guys found it useful and I hope you guys take this skill to go ahead and play with it on your own time and start making a lot of money, all right? And if you end up following this tutorial to make your own custom hats or just make hats in general and you wanna show me what they look like, go ahead and DM me at sneakerhead in the bay and I'll let you guys know what I think about them. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and I'll catch you guys on the next one. It's your boy Sneakerhead in the bay, I'm out.